Hi everyone, in this short video we're going to take a quick look at this book. It is called Physics for Entertainment. It was published by Mir Publishers Moscow, which was a publishing company in Soviet era Russia, and they would take science books and math books and translate them to other languages, and they were distributed all over the world. So these books today are considered um, quite rare. They're collector's items in some sense. And this happens to be a very famous Russian book. So let me, let me show you. Translated from the Russian by Arthur Shkarovsky. English translation, 75. I'm going to zoom in here so we can read this. This is interesting. Maybe you've heard of this book. If you have, uh, leave a comment if you know anything about this book. Perelman's Physics for Entertainment. This is a translation from the 18th century Russian edition. Owes its wide popularity to the rare talent of its author who was able to single out and present in an entertaining form ordinary facts and phenomena of profound meaning from the angle of physics. Perelman had a very definite purpose in mind when he wrote this book. Describing established conceptions and long known laws, he introduces us to the fundamental fundamentals of modern physics and tries to get us to think in physical categories. No wonder there is nothing in this book about the latest achievements in electronics, nuclear physics, and the like. Though he wrote the book almost 50 years ago, he continually revised and supplemented it up to its 13th edition in 1936. In 1942, he died, wow, in the Leningrad blockade and subsequent editions were published posthumously. Whoa. We have not attempted to rewrite the book in this present edition but have merely endeavored to bring it up to date. Wow. Wow, so that's the publisher's note. And here are the contents, so you can take a look. You see what it contains. There's chapter one, fundamentals of mechanics. There's chapter two, force, work, and friction. Let's turn the page. Pages are pretty thick, it's good quality. There's chapter three, rotation. Chapter four is on gravitation. And then five is on traveling in a, in a projectile. In a projectile. <laughs> Properties of liquids and gases. Wow, a lot of stuff there. Heat, turn the page here. And then we have magnetism and electricity. I don't know if I'll be able to find any copies of this book. If I do, I'll, I'll leave a, a link. Um, pretty sure it's out of print and it's hard to find. Reflection and refraction of light. And then we have sound and wave motion. Here's fundamentals of mechanics. Here's how it starts. The cheapest way of traveling. And we've got some pictures and stuff, which is pretty impressive for the age, right? I mean, this is way back. And I have another book um, by Perelman on physics, which I should show you someday. So it's just like a readable physics book with interesting examples, and it's famous, right? Kind of cool. Anyways, just wanted to show you this book. Take care.